I've spent my life trying to find my voice through the guitar. So that between my composition and my technique and my tone and everything that I put into recording, people can listen to it and go, I bet you anything that's Khaki King. That's my dream. I had a really tough time as a teenager. I was a gay kid in the South. I went to a religious school. I had a very terrible sense of self. It was, you know, horrifyingly lonely. Through all of that, I just totally retreated into music. I didn't have a social life beyond playing music with people. That was really how I communicated and how I found friends. On top of being gay, I was awkward. I mean, I don't know which is worse. <laughs> I remember at the booking agency I was working fresh out of college and I was like, oh, you, you guys should sign Khaki King. You know, she's amazing, her live show's incredible. And there was a lot of pushback, like, no, we can't tour internationally some chick with her guitar who doesn't sing. My hand's just doing four things. It's doing one, two, three, four. And this hand's doing roughly. But when you start to speed up, You look at just like what was said about me in the media, it was all about technique, about tapping, about percussive stuff. It was never about like, God, when I listen to her music, it makes me feel this way, which is what I was trying to accomplish. There was this fear that no one would care about the writing. I mean, I definitely met with some producers that were like, actually, we have a songwriter. He's just gonna write songs for you. You're gonna sing them and play your neat little guitar. I mean, that would have been a nightmare. And that could have been the death of me if I decided to do something inauthentic. So I was just this nerdy little guitar player. And I still am. Things have changed for me. I'm married and I have a child. As I was writing this show was when my wife got pregnant. So I needed to change. I needed to shoot a little higher. Like yeah. I wasn't trying to reinvent the wheel, but I was definitely gonna present something very different on stage in a very different way. At the same time, I had surgery on my eyes. Prior to that, I was legally blind. Having poor eyesight when you're really young meant that the visual world wasn't very interesting to me as opposed to the musical world or the world that I could hear. I didn't know this would happen. Suddenly, brights were brighter and darks were darker. That sounds corny, but it changed a lot of things about how I interacted with the world. It was reinvigorating my relationship to the guitar. Now, when I see things, I can compose to what I see. That's never happened before. And so it was a very humbling experience. And that prepared me to make a show that's based around the visual element. Imagine if the movie screen that you're watching is actually an instrument. This is basically the concept for the show. And so I got some collaborators together and we mapped the guitar and we put an image on it. And I remember thinking the guitar was just calling all the shots. And looking back now, I see that very clearly. And I think I'm finally really showing that visually. So we could go back to that box that recedes. The guitar actually feeds information to the computer, which then will translate that into light. So for instance, the louder I play, the brighter the exposures, or the bass note that I play will control the color wash on the rear screen. And so that's really incredibly exciting for me because suddenly I'm using a very familiar thing to, to paint. Playing it for people for the first time is really exciting because no one knows what to expect. There's so many moving parts that can go wrong. 
you know, the projector can get moved so the mapping is wrong, or something could fail between the computer listening to the guitar. You know, not to mention the software can just have a bug and go, nope, I'm not gonna load that. So, I'm nervous. Please welcome to the stage, Khaki King. I want my daughter to be able to one day look at the body of work that I put together and go, man, my mom was really cool. It, you know, if she could understand that I was always true to myself, despite what was popular, then I hope that could inspire her. Do you know an uncharted musician whose music deserves to be shared with the world? Email artists at Who is Uncharted to be considered as a featured artist in an episode of Uncharted and for an opportunity to record a track at the world famous Village Studios in Los Angeles because your dreams are our dreams. <laughs>